So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I edit my Instagram photos because a lot of times when I edit them on my Instagram, my followers ask me how I do certain edits. Um, these are all the apps that I have. The ones that I use the most typically are PicFX. Um, sometimes I use a beautiful mess. It depends on like what I need. Like if I'm using text, I use that a lot. And then I use VSCO Cam a lot because I like the way those look. Um, if I were to go to PicFX, would click that and then to upload a new photo. And then you can go here and... Um, Click, I'll do this picture. Um, and then I always press don't crop because I put the white bars around my Instagram pictures typically. Um, and then I always use the second category which is PPFX film. And then um, I use the first one on there just because I like the way it looks the best out of all of them in this whole like app. And I like like the soft look it has. Um, sometimes like also on this app if you press this button right here, the plus sign, you can add other filters on top of it. Um, I always like to add light, and you can add like different like bubbles or like light. I like this one a lot too. And then you can like also change like the um, intenseness of it. Um, and then like you can just save that. That is saved to get the white bars on it. Um, I typically use Fusel Pro, um, and on this one, like I have pictures already like edited on here and so I'll just go to one that I already have cropped like I've already used this picture before and Instagrammed it but I'll just show you what I did um you can go to it and like what I do is I like customize my own template so like I'll add like a picture to the background um and I'll just like put the one in that I just edited and um it'll go right in there and then I like crop it and lay out and customize and then you can like add um, lines and that'll like add two other pictures up on these two white bars and I just took two white pictures off of Google and put those there so the white bars are around it and this will save it in a square form so when you upload it to Instagram it like fits perfectly in the little box and there's like no black area I'll go to VSCO cam you go here and um, I'll just upload a new one and then you go down there and you press something from your camera roll and I'll use this one and then you click it and press the paintbrush and then it has like a bunch of different filters you use I like to typically go for like a softer um, effects I used to do a lot of like HDR and stuff like that but I feel like now they look kind of over edited so I'll go to that and then like I'll press like this little wrench down at the bottom and you can like adjust like the brightness and like the exposure and stuff like that so this one I'll add like one exposure to and press done and then go to like fade which I like a lot because I like I said I like a faded look a little bit and I'll add that to it and you can just like adjust like how faded you want it to look I usually keep my pictures pretty simple um, so I'll just save that one now and you do it by pressing that and I do it normally in like a large because I like my pictures in the best quality and I delete them normally right after so it doesn't really take up a lot of space on my um, phone so I'll just save it in large. Edit it when it's portrait instead of landscape. I typically go to afterlight. And in afterlight, I'll just go to that little thing right there. Press this and then this. And I'll press use. And um, I go to the frames. And like on this one, it has like it can put the bars in there for you. And then when you upload that to Instagram, like it works. And you can also make them like bigger. So like when you put it on Instagram, like it looks like that. And the white bars are like all around it instead of just on the sides. And then they also have like circles and stuff like that that you'll see. They have like the triangles and the cross. Um, if you don't want to do that, they also have, I bought this I think in-app purchase. Um, and it looks just like a picture frame around it. I don't know if you can see it. But like if you have, if you follow like Love Lauren Elizabeth or whatever, she has that on hers a lot of times. Um, and that's how I do that. And then also sometimes in pick frame, I'll use this if I'm like, lazy kind of or if I just like want to um, upload a picture easily and don't want to like mess around with frames a lot um I just uploaded one the other day and I used this and I like the way it looked and I did three pictures of my boyfriend and I and um looks like an old school Polaroid picture so I just took like three black and white pictures um of my boyfriend and I but I can't find the third one for some reason okay so I'll just do two for right now because I can't find the third one um and I just like uploaded those in there and then I'll just do a random one Um, I'll just do this one. Done. And edit. Yeah, effects. And then I'll just turn this one black and white because 
the rest are and I know it's the exact same one as the one above but like picture it differently <laughs> um but yeah it looks like a photo booth like picture strip and then when you upload it on Instagram it looks like like it's just three pictures down in a row because obviously the white blends in with the rest and I just really like the way it looks um so that's what I do with that and then you can press um the share button and then save it. I always save them. Sometimes people, you can like upload it straight to Instagram, but I think it's like better quality and I like to have them on my phone as well and not just Instagram if I just save it to my phone. A beautiful mess. I use a lot of times when I'm making thumbnails for like our videos, but I like it because it's got a lot of cute like little effects you can add. So like say I use this picture and I'm just trying to, you know, put a selfie on Instagram. Um, you can press this and then... You can crop it and like the white lines will already be there and you can crop it like anyway like you can put it off to the side or whatever um and then you can also add like text so like you can make them say whatever you want instagram it like makes it like big and like you can change the color and like the size obviously and like the angle um you can also do like doodles or like borders as well and i really like the borders on this one because they're a little bit different than just like the boring white bars that are on like all the other apps so like it has like this obviously it has like these um, little pictures you can add to the bottom which I like to do sometimes if I'm doing like just a really plain picture so like if I were to do this one I would probably put something like this in like the bottom corner you can change the colors and then that's what I would use that for and then you just press done and it just saves your picture and it'll say like all done you press yes and then it starts over and you can add another one Sometimes I use Camera Plus. If I was to do like HDR or something like that, um, I would use this. Okay, so you import that. I press Edit. Um, and like like I said, Clarity like makes things look like more intense, and I like the way it looks. It like brings out the colors a lot in pictures. And then I used to use um, HDR a lot, which I think is cool, but you have to be careful the pictures you use it on because a lot of times they do look really over edited. Um, but they have like a ton of stuff on here. I still use this from time to time, especially for like scenery pictures because I think it makes them look really, really cool. And yeah, so you can do that and save those and like um, put borders around those on like another app. And then I also like the last one I use a lot is Pic Collage. And um, I wasn't using this. This one, like you'll see a lot of beauty gurus using this and I think it makes pictures look really cool. But you have to be careful because this is like a portrait instead of landscapes so you have to like make sure you edit them into like where they'll fit like just in this area so when you put it on Instagram it fits everything um what I do is I put the background white obviously so it'll um blend in with the background on Instagram and that'll change that and then you just tap the screen press add I'll do this one and press done and or tap the screen again and then add photos and I always take photos from Tumblr. Um, a lot of times if I'm like on my computer late. <laughs> I have the MacBook OS X. So I can text um, things from my computer to my phone. So I'll just take pictures off Tumblr and text them to myself and use them on my um, pictures. So if I go to add photos, like I'll just go to my photo stream, which is where a lot of them are. And I have to find them. Like here's some of them. Like I like this one or this one. And then I just add like a bunch of them and just like take off the ones I don't like. So obviously like I'm not going to use all of these on here. Like I can probably throw this one away. And like I like to use ones that match like the background I'm using. So since I'm using a white background like. Um, here we go. You can just put that in there. And then like that little border. And then I like made this one like that so you can just press that and then I put it in like a little square version so that I know it will all fit and like I put it all tight together and then you just press this and then um, save to library and the thing with pick um, collage is when you save it to your phone it um, has like a, it saves with a pick collage label and that's like not something obviously that I want to have on my, my pictures so when I upload that to Instagram um, I have to make sure that it's able to be cropped out and sometimes you have to like mess around with it or I can take it to um, Camera Plus and crop it in there as well which is another reason I like Camera Plus because you can do like free forms on cropping. So yeah that's just how that would look and then it'll be white all around it and it just looks kind of like a scrapbook so I like that a lot. I'll show you some of my Instagrams just so you can see what they look like. <laughs> 